Now, I know a lot of you guys play Mutt, and sometimes you don't feel like grinding to get the best team. So if you want to just buy some training or coins or players, head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use my code CK, and not only will you be rich one day, but you'll also get 15% off your order. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. Thank you to everyone that came through to the streams and dropped their vote. I love each and every one of you, man. The Seahawks ended up winning this one, but it was close. They won by six votes over the Bills. And the two players that you guys wanted to see added to the Seahawks were Beast Mode and Cam Chancellor. Let's start with Cam Chancellor, man. Straight out of Virginia Tech. He played his entire career with the Seahawks. Obviously, he was a Super Bowl champion, a two-time second-team All-Pro, four-time Pro Bowler. He had more than 600 combined tackles in his career, two sacks, 12 12 interceptions, nine forced fumbles, and a touchdown. Now, a lot of people don't know that he worked out as a quarterback before he was even moved to the cornerback position when he first joined Virginia Tech. As a true freshman, he recorded nine tackles, two broken up passes, and one interception in 13 games. Then in 2007, he was moved to the rover position and he played on special teams. It wasn't until 2008 that he was finally moved to the free safety position. It was his third position change in three or four years at Virginia Tech, proving that this man is a true Swiss Army knife and can play damn near anywhere on the field. So we have him starting that strong safety, even though we already had one in Jamal Adams. Hey, this is why you gotta come through and vote. Y'all could have voted Earl Thomas, we would have had free safety, but now we have Cam. We're gonna be using him as a sub linebacker. So he's really gonna be in a box when they come out and nick or whatnot. Either way, he's always gonna be on the field, okay? 99 overall, same with Jamal Adams. They're both always gonna be on the field, so it really doesn't matter. Strip specialist, this man forced nine fumbles in his career. So yeah, I think this is a good ability to give to him. And then Lurker, I want him to be able to get interceptions even when i'm not using him so yeah i think it's gonna be a very good ability for him to have and then the x factor we gave him zone hawk he forces some incompletions he's gonna get this and then it's a wrap got his stats from one of his mutt cards man one of his 99 ultimate legend cards so yeah, he's number one overall ranked strong safety in the nfl here are some of his traits absolute monster defense getting a huge upgrade now even though beast mode didn't start his career with the seahawks when you think beast mode the first thing that comes to mind is his time in seattle at least for me they still should have given beast mode the ball when i hear that name the first play that comes to mind is the one where he didn't even touch the ball but if we get into that situation in this video trust and believe we will give him the ball but when he did get the ball he was an absolute madman he has over 10,300 rushing yards in his career to put that in proper context some of the hall of fame Famers who he ranks above in that category are Earl Campbell, Terrell Davis, Yale Sayers. But not only that, somehow he's avoided major injuries while playing a position that is prone to frequent injuries. His 85 career rushing touchdowns are good for 16th all time. He of course was a Super Bowl champion, a first team all pro in 2012, second team all pro in 2014, five time pro bowler, two time NFL rushing touchdowns leader. He's on a 2010s all decade team and he's one of the funniest people that I've ever seen in the NFL. So even though the Seahawks already had a guy like Chris Carson who's no slouch, they can't be mad at getting a 99 overall Marshawn Lynch. He got bulldozer. Ball carriers with this ability have more powerful truck animations. And I gave him arm bar. Ball carriers with disability have more powerful stiff arm animations. I mean, do we have to bring up that play versus the Saints in the playoffs? <laughs> that should pretty much tell you why I have these abilities on him. And then of course, Fright Train is his X factor. When he enters the zone, the ability increases their chance to break the next tackle. See, so yeah, we could have went with Walter Jones, we could have went with Earl Thomas. Maybe that would have helped fill out the team a little bit better. But this is why you come through and vote, man. I'm streaming right after this video goes live. We took an L against the Niners in week eight, but we're still second in the division, man. This is a very tough division. Gonna see if we can bounce back in week nine versus the Bills. Jesus Christ, Cam and Bobby Wagner and Jamal. Don't forget about him, but those two in the box, that's just scary. That's very scary, man. Come here. Maybe not for the Bills, though. I mean, they're moving the ball with ease. It's gonna be a run right here. Yeldon getting a nice game. I would have loved if we could put Avalanche on him, but I don't think that was an option. Trust me, I would have if I could. Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on? It's not the best game out there, all right? Let's just put it at that. <laughs> yeah, I can tripping on people's feet. I don't know what's going on. Let's hope we can get it back. That should have been intercepted. Now, I don't know if a, if a safety needs a lurker. But I feel like it could give him a, a slight benefit. Just a slight benefit. Nice hit right there from Jamal. Yes, sir. Scramble, please. Please scramble. Oh, that should have been a big hit fumble. I almost want to keep using him as a spy. Josh Allen, for whatever reason, has been scrambling a lot. And this time, they're going to get the catch, but they're down at the one. Let's see what they do. Please, run the fullback dive. I'm there. 
Cam with another great tackle. They get zero points on this drive because of him. And now it's up to beast mode to get us out of this predicament, man. I hate being stuck at the one. I was just talking to Tex about this. I mean, it's just terrible. Okay, but when you have someone like beast mode, it's easy. 17 for 150 and two touchdowns last week. Yo, the fullback is acting dumb. I don't know what's up with Belor right now. I might have to upgrade that position. I'm kidding. That's not an option, all right? We've already made the upgrades. We can't make more. You know, that'll be against the rules. Otherwise, you have to do it for every other team that we do. This is memories, man. This is what the Seahawks used to be like during Wilson's first few years when Beast Mode was still on the team. There's a flag. Let it be on the defense. Yes, sir. Rough in the passer. We'll take it. Look at that free release DK's getting. Okay, never mind. We'll just go to circle. Tyra Lockett going to give us some nice yardage. Now, even if we win this game, we might not end up winning the division. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. It sucks that they're in the NFC West and they have nothing but great teams around them. Wilson with escape artist. Wilson with escape artist nasty. I'm gonna hand it off and trust that beast mode can get us three yards. There it is. Oh damn it. Alright, we're going for it. Same situation the Bills are just in. Going to the Owen trap. Let's see if they're ready for it. Unless they run command, I think we got this. Unless they run command, I think we got this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's scary. Seeing Cam barreling down the middle of the field, shooting the gap and tackling you, man. I, that just, that's scary. He's on that list of players that, you know, I'd rather not play football than to be paid all that money to get hit by someone as menacing as Cam Chance. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't know how he almost completed that. All right. Well, here comes the user blitz. Okay. We got to the quarterback. Look at Jamal. Uh-oh. Jeez, he always trucks the first person he comes in contact with. And now he's in the freaking zone, so it's going to get worse for the opponent, that is. For us, it's going to stay the same. But at least I'm not putting true clock on it, all right? We just run the ball. We just hand the ball off the beast mode. That's all we're doing. Uh-oh. Micah, I'm sorry. I hate it had to be you. That's too easy. This is all Madden, too, man. Beast mode is just this good. Oh, Jamal. Getting the INT. Can we flip the cam? Damn it, that didn't go to Cam. We'll take it though. So we end up winning our division 11 and 5. Wow. So, okay, so the, we didn't pass the ball too often to Russell Wilson. Damn near last. That's because Beast Mode was first in rushing yards and touchdowns. Jesus. 1,800 yards. That has to be in the record books. Okay, it didn't quite make the cut, but it's close. Look at that stat line. Chris Carson had 12 touchdowns on the ground as well. Seven for Russell Wilson. Run game nasty. So this was easily the best run game in the NFL. Beast Mode even killed it in the receiving game too. On defense, Cam led everybody in tackles. Had the third most tackles for a loss. One and a half sacks. Seven interceptions. I told you that lurker would come into play, man. Let's go. Two pass deflections. Two forced fumbles and two fumble recoveries. Cam won MVP. Beast Mode was number four. It's not often you see running backs in the top five for MVP voting, man. That's crazy. What a season. Of course, he wins OPOY. No surprise there. DPOY. Cam was number two. Yo, this is looking like the best season we had so far. In this legend experiment, we have Beast Mode winning best running back. As for best DB, Cam Chancellor. Bro, let's see how they did in the playoffs. That's what it comes down to now. We won our wild card round game 35 to 28 versus the Lions. Wilson was damn near perfect. Beast Mode killed it 5.5 yards per carry. Cam led everyone in tackling. Then we went on to play the Saints. We beat them 38-35. So these are close games. It's not like we're blowing them out, but hey, a win is a win. Russell Wilson was flawless once again. Kamara did his thing, but so did Beast Mode. No touchdowns. Still a very good yards per carry. On defense, Cam with six tackles this time. So he's flying to the ball. And then the conference championship, we beat the Packers 28-14. Wilson versus Rodgers. Wilson came out on top. Not his best game. No touchdowns, one interception. But that's because Beast Mode was going crazy. Two touchdowns, 124 yards. Carson added too, so the run game was doing what they did all season. On defense, it was Wagner and Cam flying to the ball once again, leading them to the Super Bowl. And they won! Adding these two legends to the team. Got the Seahawks the Super Bowl. So shout out to you if you voted for these two guys to be added to the squadron, man. They were just the right guys for the job. They were exactly what this team needed. 16 for 155 and three touchdowns in the Super Bowl for Beast Mode. And then Cam had five tackles very consistent the entire playoff run that's all we needed to do man add cam chancellor add beast mode and we finally made it happen thanks for watching as usual man hopefully you have a good rest of your day and i'll see you on the next one